Using some examples, let's look at the breaking down strategy for subtracting. Let's begin with the subtraction 75 minus 23. Unlike the additions, we only represent the biggest number for subtractions, in this case 75, 7 bars and 5 units, from which we have to take away 23 cubes. First, we can take away 2 bars, leaving us with 5. In other words, 50 cubes, and then we can take away 3 cubes, leaving us with 2. We write this in the green box and see that we are finally left with 50 plus 2 cubes, in other words, 52. But what would happen if it were 73 minus 25? We represent 73. To take away 25 cubes, we could take away 2 bars first, but we cannot take away 5 cubes. We need to swap one of the bars for 10 cubes. By doing so, we represent 73 as 60 plus 13. Now we can take away 2 bars and 5 cubes. In total, we are left with 4 bars, in other words, 40, and 8 cubes. So 73 minus 25 equals 48. Let's solve the final example without using material by representing it. 82 minus 45. We can see right away that we cannot remove 5 cubes if we represent 82 using 8 bars and 2 cubes. So we can directly represent 82 using 7 bars and 12 cubes. Now we take away 5 cubes and we are left with 7. Then we take away 4 bars, leaving us with 3. So 82 minus 45 equals 37. This strategy is more transparent and flexible than the traditional algorithm and helps us understand it. To be able to master this, it is essential to anticipate the appropriate representation of the numbers and to have automatized the subtraction of numbers between 1 and 20. Thank you.